getting underway. Flyway, Somjit Jongjoho of Thailand against Yuriokis Gamboa of Cuba. Jongjoho in the red, Gamboa in the blue. Jongjoho, a gold medalist at the World Championships last year, beat Jerome Thomas of France 24 to 17. Gamboa lost in the quarterfinals to Zhang Joho at the World Championships last year in a tight one, 23-22. It was controversial. The World Championships were held in Thailand last year. So it's Gamboa trying to get a little revenge. This has the potential for a top match. Zhang Joho depends on the right hand to set things straight to lead the way. They use the jab to set it up, but make no mistake about it. Zhang Zhou Ho, as he goes, the right hand goes. Last Cuban to win a medal. Whoa. Zhang Zhou Ho takes a spin. Last Cuban to win a medal in that light flyweight category, 1996, Micro Romero. Teddy, Thailand captured a gold in this weight class at the Sydney Olympics. It was not the 29-year-old Jung Jo Ho. It was Wijan Poden of Thailand. Stop. Referee is Hakan Bergman of Sweden. Throughout this tournament, we've seen Jung Jo Ho look sloppy, rush in, wide shots. Not the case today. He's tightened up his game. He understands he has a Cuban in front of him. Gamboa moves ahead six to five with some fast hand work. So Joho doing half of what he needs to do, stepping out, trying to get Gamboa to reach in and getting Gamboa to reach in but not doing the other half, not applying the jelly to the peanut butter, not throwing the counter punch. Let's take a look at the rules in Olympic boxing. 14 minute rounds, five judges, computerized scoring. About ends of a boxer trails by 20 points at any point in the first three rounds. Four counts in a round, they stop the bout. What about electronic scoring? It goes as follows. White portion of the glove records the blow. No added point for a power shot or knockdown. At least three of the five judges must record a scoring blow within one second. Teddy, I like the electronic scoring. It's the people that are putting the numbers in. Here's what the criteria is. Punch must connect with the white part of the glove. Punch lands directly on the face or the side of the head, one point. Chest, torso, and above the waist, one point. That's what they tell us. And that has been the biggest problem to this point. Body shots are rarely credited. And we saw the Russian tank, Alexander Malaitin, a couple of days ago, dominate his fight with body punches. He wound up losing to Willie Blaine of France. Round number two underway. The key right here, as far as I'm concerned, is whether or not now Jung Jo Ho starts making Gamboa pay for real estate. He's taller, he's longer with his arms. He's getting range, but he's not pulling the trigger on the punches. Like he just tried there to keep Gamboa from closing and coming forward. Gamboa looking to come in. Chung Joho looking for distance. Not pulling the trigger in time. Got a right hand from Chung Joho. You'll see plenty of right hands from Chung Joho. That's where his confidence lays. Even when he jabs, Zhang Zhou is looking for the right hand. The jab is not the meaningful punch. And Teddy, for the shorter Gamboa in blue of Cuba, jabs need to be a part of his arsenal, doesn't it? Yes, exactly, Bob, because he's pressing. He's chosen this style. He's chosen his direction. He wants to be the man moving forward. Then you have to do it behind cover. And that cover needs to be the left jab. 
you're going to plow snow. Oh, you need a Jeep, but you need that plow in front of the Jeep to clear the path. You're going to press forward as Gamboa is doing. You need that jab to clear the path. Gamboa only got one point in that two-punch combination that snapped back the head of Jung Joho. Again, this comes down to one man moving forward. Can he be effective and clean getting in? And that would be Gamboa. The other man, Jung Joho, keeping distance. Can he score with the right hand? Can he get punches off before Gamboa gets in? Yuriokis Gamboa, 22 year, years of age of Cuba with a combination there. And guess what the main punch is, the right hand. That's what Jung Joho lives by. Teddy Gamboa did not get credit in that last round for a two-punch combination. And there's Gamboa reaching a little bit. And that's exactly what the longer arm Jung Joho needs, wants, but must take advantage of in the upcoming rounds. Yurilkis Gamboa of Cuba, Pan American Games champion, lost in the quarterfinals of the World Championship to that man, Somjit Jung Joho from the Kingdom of Thailand. 